Hey up, me odes. It is Rowie here. It is Wednesday night. It is a bit later than I was originally planned. It's about nine o'clock. It's bloody twenty past nine. I've not even uh, not even had my tea yet. But um, I've been playing a lot of Resident Evil Three, trying to get the platinum on that on the remake. Um, yeah, because um, apparently chasing platinums on old video games is something that I do now with my spare time. Uh, I mean, that's, I'll tell you what I don't do with my time. It's not um, is make beer review videos anymore, as this is only my third one of the year, which. Uh, I mean, I mean, Raggy's probably done 17 today, you know, isn't so he's probably looking at my figures and just being like, oh, that channel will never take off, isn't he's not posting all the time, you know, big love to Raggy, obviously no disrespect man there, obviously to Billy Rag, who is a uh, an absolutely smashing fella. Um, but yeah, to, to keep up with the, the, the theory of the year so far, we're going to go with uh, another double IPA, uh, because it is my favourite style. Um, and you know it's my it's my bloody channel. Like no, none of you, no, no one's watching it. So I may as well just record beer videos that I that I want to drink. And so yeah, it's a collaboration between uh, Omnipoyo and uh, Trillium, and it is called Big Puppy. So um, I have had a collaboration between uh, Omnipoyo and um, Trillium before. And I think that was that was called Cover Me in Puppies, and that was a uh, that was a bottled beer. Uh, I think that was that might have been a double IPA, but I think it might have just been an IPA. It was many many years ago. And so yeah, this is an eight per eight point six percent double IPA hopped with uh, Ruwaka. And so yeah, this is uh, obviously Omnipoyo being uh, Swedish, and uh, Trillium being uh, America. I can't remember exactly where in America. I want to say Boston. I'm, going, I'm, I'm saying Boston, then I'm saying Boston. Uh, both beers from both breweries have featured on the channel before. Uh, when um, I first really, really sort of started getting into beers, um, Trillium were one of those breweries that I always wanted to wanted to try because they seem to be at the forefront of the big sort of hype uh, American US style double IPA. So when I think Cloudwater brought a load over a few years ago. I jumped at the chance, and uh, yeah, uh, didn't look back. It was I think it was during lockdown actually, so it was uh, they were beers that I couldn't afford at all, what with um, furlough and all that. But they were still uh, they were still magical, and I uh, don't regret spending any money on them whatsoever. But yeah, so I don't normally associate Omnipoyo with um, IPAs or double IPAs. For me, they are a massive, you know daft imperial stout adjunct heavy um sours like the uh the bianca series that they do is fantastic i think i have put a bianca beer on here before they are obviously absolutely magical but um whatever let's get a bloody double ipa uh, let's get a bloody double ipa down it's been waffling on for too long let's get a bloody slurp shall we it's not getting it's not getting any fresher is it it's not getting any uh, it's not getting any better Honestly. Oh, look at that. That's a murky bastard, isn't it? Murky is out. I do love my Emperor's Brewing Glass. It's sort of a uh, one of my uh, one of my favourite uh, YouTubers who I do like to watch is uh, a guy called the Old Growler, and he always um, Pete LaFrance. He always um, drinks from the same style glass and I've kind of adopted that now where I've been using the older uh, the old Emperor's glass in as many videos as possible it does show I think like he says it gives everything uh, uh, the same no, no one gets an advantage and then on an ocular level I think that's quite a very good thing a uh, very good thing but yeah got so much mumbling here isn't there it's like no one you don't see that on what culture do you you don't see that on watch mojo you know you see people with scripts who are good look not just winging it at, half past nine on a Wednesday night because they forgot to cook dinner. But yeah, look, that was thick, murky, you know, or a, a juice bomb, as they like to say these days, don't they? They like to say words like that, don't they? Juice bomb. But, so yeah, let's, uh, fruiter, smells fruiter. Covers everything, that's not it, just fruity. So yeah, anyway, that's enough of all that nonsense. Let's get it. Let's get it bloody slurped. Oh, oh yeah, that is delicious. That is fantastic. I might, I think, 
Ruika's a New Zealand hop, I believe. I think it's a New Zealand, well it is, it's a New Zealand hop. It is now, for the purpose of this video, it's a New Zealand hop. And that is, um, that is fantastic. That is so much passion fruit. Like, passion, you could probably, you know, get away with a little slurp of this at breakfast as a tropical juice drink. That is so, uh, it's just, it's so passion fruit forward, it's unreal. Like, that's the big thing that comes through there. Crikey. Good. No bitterness on the end of that. Not a hint of its ABV. That is absolutely magical. I have I have got a second can and I am very lucky that I've I'm very well I am obviously lucky for that, but I am very happy that I have got a second can. That is ridiculous. That's I know it's only like February, but that's the best beer I've had this year. You know, I I've drunk a lot of beer this year so far, just not bothered recording it. So uh yeah, that is the best beer I've had this year so far. That is absolutely fantastic. Um, I bought this from Junkyard in Nottingham. So anybody who are Nottingham based and uh, I think, look at the colours of the can as well, looks magic. But yeah, that is fantastic. That is the best beer I've had this year so far. Um, yeah, as always, if you like the video, give us a like, give us a subscribe. Uh, yeah, may as well, innit? You know, you probably already subscribed to, you know, Raggy and Rampant Lion who are way better than me, but, you know, toss me some likes, you know, toss me is what I'm saying, so yeah, you should do that, but yeah, thanks for watching, as always, yeah, like, subscribe, whatever, yeah, soon a bit, oh, and yeah, do subscribe to the old growler, though, I think he's pretty, he's pretty badass, he's pretty cool, and uh, I might finish the video in a way that he does, where, like, if, uh, if a beer has met his expectations, he, he takes a final sip, and then he goes, I'm going to do that, which I'm stolen off of him, but I'm crediting him for stealing him, so it doesn't really count as stealing. So I'm going to do that, but then I'm going to do the usual clothes, sort of like, um, yeah, 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 blah, 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 thing. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And so, uh, yeah, so uh, it has met expectations. <sighs> See you in a bit. Yeah, in a bit. See you in a bit.